What's going on YouTube with Donnie B all day? I'm downstairs in the shop and I told you guys before that I was thinking about working on something and I just got tired of thinking about it and said, I'm gonna go start it. So I took a piece of uh, 1080 bar and I began first designing and then cutting. It's gonna have a nice samurai uh, shape to it. You can see that it's getting cut there and then you can see that line swooping up there. And eventually, from there, it's going to come down. And I'm going to have a really nice uh, samurai. The tang itself is only about 8 inches. You can see it there. Um, so I'm only doing a hand and a half. I'm a big dude. I don't need two hands to properly wield a samurai. So um, you can see where my tang right here, my, my blade stops, where my suba is going to be. Um, my hand guard is going to be it's going to be right here and what I think I'm going to do is something completely different I might just take a piece of aluminum aluminum and then shape it and make it just a plain hand guard and then um, I might do something different I might do instead of an over wrap I might do an under wrap which is something that I'll have to uh, show you as I go um, who knows maybe, maybe I'll do something different with the with the uh, handle but uh, this is it. This is going to be my samurai once it's all done. Uh, it's getting there. It's taking a whole lot of little uh, little cutting discs. I think it's about 3 16 thick, I think. Um, but it's going to take a whole bunch of cutting discs to get this through. Um, and a whole lot of time. And that's about it. It's just patience. And then when I get it up to start my grind, I have to grind this whole thing without shifting you know what I mean it has to be dead straight because I don't have a guide I don't have a jig you know what I mean everything I do is by hand and by eye so I have to somehow maintain a straight line going all the way through and who knows maybe I'll succeed maybe I won't we'll find out um, but here it is this is going to be my samurai Whoa. so stay with me now watch what happens all right okie dokie guys so I hashed out the shape of my samurai. So you can see that this whole thing right here is going to be my, I wanted to say wakasaki, but it's going to be pretty much almost a, a full samurai. This is pretty long. Uh, it's going to be bigger than I thought. And uh, it's going to be all right. You can see the shape there. It's coming out pretty nice. I have a whole lot of grinding to do. To get rid of all these freaking burrs and nasty sharp spots and uh, and uneven pieces. But holy moly, it's going to be a samurai. Oh yeah. All right. So I'll tell you what, man. This thing is coming out a lot cooler than I thought it was going to. Um, added a little decorative spice up here. Um it's it's pretty sharp i don't know if i can get the uh the grind angles in there but you can see the edge profile a little bit it's uh it's getting there it's getting pretty sharp so i'm gonna have to do some fine tuning on that edge now i noticed i had some a lot of waves because i cut this with this right i cut it i just used a cutoff tool and I cut this whole thing. So obviously it's it's a little wavy. It's not perfectly straight when I started. And it was taking a ton of grind. I mean, just a ton of grinding to get all that work out. And eventually I was like, you know what? It's, a, it's hard to see right away, but it's got a little bit of waviness to it. And I went, honestly, who cares? This is for me. This is for me to be having fun with. And um, it's my first samurai, right? So it's a sweet hand and a half. I've got the tang all done out. Now I have to um, cut myself a suba, a, a hand guard, and then, whew, and then it comes down to uh, then it comes down to making the wrap, uh, which I still don't even know what I'm going to do with the handle. I'm I'm kind of up in the air on a couple different things, um, but I'll tell you what, this edge, this edge is coming out pretty good. Um, it's going to be able to hack through some trees and stuff. And I'll tell you what, if it comes down to an arm or a leg, 
this thing at this point, just as it is right now, this thing will take off an arm. I'm talking with ease. I could, I could take off a head with this thing. It is a Bigfoot. Um, it is, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how it's turning out. You know, the spine got was all chunky, and I just left them chunks right in there. I'm like, I don't even care. As long as this thing is going to uh, perform and be cool, that's all I'm really worried about. And uh, so far, I wish I had something I could cut down here. I really don't have much. Uh, I don't even know if I do this, then it'll knock you guys down maybe. But, oh, I don't want to swing on that. Let's see. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? My first samurai. Man. Man. Look at that. I could hit right here. I didn't fold it over or anything like that. And I still didn't do any kind of heat on this. Um, holy moly. That was kind of cool. I didn't expect that. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can pick it up. I keep getting it, but I'm in a, I'm, it's sitting on a piece of foam right now. So when I stabbed down, it was just going right through. That's the old Tonto tip right there. That armor piercing tip right there, guys. Let's see. How's it look? Ho oh, ho ho! Man, I can't wait to get this thing finished now. All right, so so far so good. This thing works, man. It's splitting wood already. Yeah! All right, I'm pretty excited about that. Not too shabby. I'm gonna keep going. Oh yeah, not for nothing. But that just happened. Oh my gosh! I used a file. First, I took some aluminum. I cut it down at like a couple of angles. I didn't want it perfectly square. So as you can see, it's uh, maybe you can't see it's like a parallelogram. And, uh, all I did is I drilled a couple holes in it. And then I used the cutoff tool to make a line. And then I took a file and just filed the hell out of the center of that. And I now have my guard. Woo and I think I'm going to do, aluminum scales that's where i'm looking at so it's going to have aluminum guard aluminum scales aluminum pins i'll tell you what i'm pretty happy with it so far this is coming out this is coming out i'm digging it all right so the aluminum scales are rough cut you can see there's the blade sticking out of there it goes all the way down there and uh gotta say so far so good got the aluminum hand guard here and that's being welded in with JB Weld. I've got the scales, so you can see how it's going to be. They need a whole lot of trimming. And uh, it's going to go all the way around. And that is going to be my samurai. So the actual handle, I don't even know. I should probably measure it because I don't know how actually thick it is so here stay with me here stay with me i'm working it I'm trying to use one hand and a chin all right so there we go it's just over a half inch let me see if i can get it stable yeah it looks like nine sixteenths somewhere in there that's how thick it's gonna be it's gonna have a nice thin profile. What I'll do is I'll shave this all down to to exact, and then what I'll do is I'll round the edges here on the aluminum, Oop. round the edges here on the aluminum, and um, all this is gonna be really smooth. I mean, really smooth, so my hand doesn't get caught on it. But um, man, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what, guys. Look how straight that is. It's starting to look like a samurai. That is starting to look like a samurai right there. Holy mackerel. I think it's going to be pretty cool when it's done. This is going to be a nice touch. It's going to be a nice touch. So uh, my next pause shall be uh, just when this is finished shape. When this is finished shape. 
I am the English king. So as soon as I'm done putting on the shape to this handle, I will show you guys what's going on. And then it's just about finishing touches after that. And uh, so far, so good. Look at this, look at this blade line. Whoa, man, that's cool, that is cool, that is cool. All right, hold on now. Okay guys, I don't always give myself enough credit for some of the stuff I do, but this time, I'm giving myself the credit. So this is my homemade Samurai. I used aluminum, obviously, because you guys were here. We got the aluminum scales, we have the aluminum handguard, we have the aluminum pins, right? I blued my steel, I blued all the way around the tang, so it's, you see the black in between, or the blue in between, and check this out. I'm gonna bring it out to the sun, so you guys can see it'll be uh, even better. <sighs> I have never, ever made a sore before. And this samurai, holy mackerel. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How cool is this? That is so badass. So what I want to do is I want to take it outside. And I just want to hit a, a you know, a couple things like a tree. <laughs> this is right. Now this isn't, it's pretty sharp. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty sharp. But it's not cut paper sharp. It's um, it's a play with it sharp and have some fun sharp. But it, it's also <laughs> if you gotta kill a bigfoot, this is it. And hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see. I have right here. Let's see. Let's see. Put that there. I just want to see comparison size because I thought I was gonna be making it small. I thought I was going to Wakasashi. When I originally started making it, it just didn't seem that long to me. And then as I started making it, then, you know, it just seemed longer and longer. And remember, this is not one of mine. This is a real one. This is made in Japan for me. And I don't know who pushed that down, but that's not supposed to be wedged in like that. All right. So let's see. How does it compare length for length? That's a true samurai. That is pretty freaking close. That is pretty close. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Put this, put this one away. I just hit my cannon. Don't ever wedge these all the way in. Somebody must have moved it on me and jammed it. But you loosen up your uh, bamboo. And then you have rattling. And when you need to be a stealth fighter, you don't want rattling. So, oh my goodness. It's crazy how I say, hold on a second, I just have swords hanging around in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me just go grab one of my samurai in the kitchen. Because I have, I think, four of them in the kitchen. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm fucking Donnie B all day. All right, so, put on a jacket. I don't even know if I need a jacket. I'll probably wear a jacket. Oh, let's go play with this thing. Come on. All right, so I've got this little water bottle out here. Man, this thing looks even cooler in the sun. It's just so, so badass. My first ever samurai. Holy crap. It exploded. Oh, 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 oh man, let's go hit. All right, so we are here in the one inch forest. It's a little uh, frozen tree one inch forest. But um, let's see if this thing can take down some of these little trees here. Yep, holy mackerel. I started with probably the fattest tree and holy mackerel. Now this edge is made to like go through skin and and tear through 
uh, clothing. Uh, I didn't make it necessarily to go through trees, although if I got to hit a bone, well, it's as close as you're going to get. I can't believe how easy this samurai cruised through this. Let me see if I can do that while it balances. Oh my goodness. It's too wobbly, it's too wobbly. Golly. Well, I have to say, I made myself a samurai and it's awesome. It is so cool. This is probably one of the coolest things I ever made blade wise. It's all holding together. It looks fantastic. It, I wonder if we can actually, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the angles right on this. Yeah. Holy moly. I was telling you I made it sharp, right? Let's see, let's see. You know, for when you're, when you're in a survival situation, and all you have is a samurai sword, it's like, hey, look right there. You recognize that signature? Randy Jackson. Well, I was walking through the mall and all I had on me was a samurai sword. Why wouldn't I get some? If you know the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I just sounded like an absolute crackhead. Thanks, Step Brothers. All right, so let's see. Golly, this thing is so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just wanted to uh, make one. And I wanted to show you what it looked like when I made one. And this is it. This is it. My aluminum handled, aluminum guard, aluminum pin, 1080 handmade samurai sword. It is just cool, man. I'll tell you what, guys. This is one of my favorite things I've ever made. I gotta say that. This thing is deadly and it's just cool. This is just cool. All hand done, no special equipment. No, you know what I mean? All my grinds had to come by pushing it without a jig, without a little table, without a level, and trying to get it all straight. And uh, it's not straight, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got its... Uh, wobbles in it not it's straight this way this way is this way is beautiful that way is perfect but you know i've got a i've got a couple of waves going this way in it but it's just awesome this impressed me i've never done a metal uh handle and i gotta say it was a bitch i'm not gonna lie i found out the best way to do it was to use a sawzall with a metal blade as far as me because that's what i have for tools i used a sawzall with a metal blade went down and then I took a, uh, a grinder with a sand disc and just used that sanding disc and just did the whole thing over. And that's what made this thing sweet. Man, I am super, super happy with this thing. Uh, I'm going to go and, and run around and play like an idiot and just chop a bunch of things that I probably shouldn't be chopping. Because, well, what else would you do with a samurai sword? So, uh, I don't know. I hope you guys liked it beautiful 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 this is awesome i'm gonna go play have some fun i'm donnie b all day until next knife